Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and I'm here to share with you a brand new Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> yes, I went back to Dollar Tree today, even though today here it's windy, it's chilly, uh, snow flurries on and off. We've got more snow coming. Oy. That's one word I do not like, S-N-O-W. I hope everyone is doing well. So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make it through or not. So I'm going to stop all this and uh, jump right into it. This is kind of like a mishmash of a little bit of everything. I got my laundry basket here that's absolutely full. I tried to prep the best I could by pulling some stuff out. So let's try to see how organized I actually stay. Alrighty. So what I did was right now, Valentine's Day is pretty much out the door, at least out here in my area on the East Coast. I went to two different Dollar Trees today and the Valentine's Day stuff was basically like out the door. Everything rolling in right now, obviously St. Patrick's Day, uh, Mardi Gras stuff and Easter, of course, and a lot of spring stuff coming out, the baseball bats, the little rakes and all those kinds of things. So you just, you know, if you can get it when you can, because if you don't, it's gone. All right, so what I did was pick up some Easter ribbon. This is three yards. This is two and a half inches wide. And basically, I hope you're gonna be able to, oh yeah, you are. Okay, so what you have on here, it's a white ribbon. You've got pastel bunnies and Easter eggs. There is glitter in this ribbon, but I thought this was perfect as a secondary ribbon to like when you're making a deco mesh wreath. Sometimes you use two ribbons instead of one to kind of offset it. And I thought this would be a good one because I do want to get a wreath done. I also want to point out that this does have the thin wire on both sides. So this is wire. And basically, um, two and a half inches wide, 6.35 centimeters for three yards. You know, I mean, when you think about it, you're only getting three yards for a dollar, but for the wire, you're always spend more for that anyway. So, you know, I mean, you maybe find it a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but probably not by much. So this stuff goes really fast. Anyways, out in the stores by me, it goes super, super fast. All right, and then I picked up a couple more candles and these are repeat purchase. And the reason why I got these are because these are like a purple color. And this is the room that I have Kahlua in and I actually have my other Labrador in and then I don't have my ashes from my third Labrador. Um, somehow they're in Chicago with somebody. And um, so I have been lighting a candle ever since um, Kahlua's passing. And um, I continue to do so for a while. So I needed some extras. These are really pretty. I have one lit up literally. I wish I could flip my camera and bring it back to me. But it seems like when I do that, if I touch anything on the camera, my camera will just um, stop recording. I can't even put a hold on my camera. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I have an iPhone 11. So if I'm doing something wrong, um, I can't seem to pause it. Uh, without the recording stopping. And if I try to flip the camera around, it stops as well. Is it something I'm doing wrong? Um, no, I didn't squirrel <laughs> back on the candle. Anyways, or I would flip it around and show you. So these are really nice. It is in a purplish color, but when it's lit off, it looks really like a lilac color. They are glass, they are three ounces. And the smell itself, it says relax on there. It's a, it, there's not like a lavender type of smell, but it is a very soft fragrance and it's nothing that really bothers me for a, like a smell. So I did pick up a couple of one of those for over by Kahlua and my other dog, Zoe. <clears throat> I also grabbed some of the iced oatmeal cookies. Um, Little Dutch Maid is a really, really popular company out here with our Dollar Trees and I'm pretty sure they are with most Dollar Trees, but even in the store, you can buy Dutch made cookies. This is the package that's 12 ounces and this is the iced oatmeal ones. And every now and then, you know, a couple of these, I don't know, I just had like a, a taste for them. Um, I did kind of have the munchies when I was in Dollar Tree. So that's probably another reason why I purchased them, but I haven't had these in a really, really long time. So I grabbed some of those. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
So I've been converting everyone's giveaway tickets into postcards or not postcards, but um, la 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 index cards as I'm holding them in my hand. So I was using the smaller index cards, the three by fives. And I started putting everyone's information on there and I was putting the first name, the last name, the address. And I'm like, wait a minute, I can't do that because if I'm pulling someone's name out, what if the wrong side of the card comes up and it ends up being all of your addresses? And I don't wanna expose anyone's address when doing like a giveaway pick. So I was kind of like, all right, well, this isn't going to work. So what I have to do is move to the four by six cards because first of all, the three by fives don't hold everybody's name because some people's last names are very long or there's two last names. So I couldn't get it all on there. And then I was trying to squeeze everybody's information like their other stuff on there. It just wasn't working. So now I'm up to a four by six card. So I just decided to go with the white index cards. And what I'm just gonna be doing on the cards is putting your first name and your last name. I'm not putting any other information. I'm gonna be referencing your addresses and like your emails, your phone numbers and all that in a separate way. So I'm gonna be making it to the point where all I'm gonna do is reach in, grab a card, and the only thing that's gonna be on the card is your first name and your last name. That's the only thing that'll get divulged. Everything else you're gonna have to email me privately when you're accepting something. So anyways, I was very happy to see the four by six cards. You get a hundred in a package. That was not a bad bang for your buck. And those are the heavier ones. I don't like those really, really thin ones, but that should definitely do the job for me. Happy to be zooming down the aisle where they have all the phone accessories. And I saw a couple other YouTubers haul this and I thought, you know what, this is really cool and definitely worth more than a dollar. These are the Cafe Matte Glow in the Dark Waterfall Glow and they say fits iPhone XX and X small and iPhone X. So here's what the packaging looks like. I love the packaging. It really gets your attention, but there's this little um, tab right here where you can pull it out and I can give you a better look here. So. It's saying, again, it fits iPhone X or iPhone XS. So it is two pieces that you have to put around your phone. So there is the rim side section. And then here is your inner section. What's really, really cool about this, this is... Ow, I just flicked a finger of a nail that just went too short. Anyways, this is not a um, rubber plastic that you can bend. This is a hard plastic, but what you can do is this actually moves about. I just love that, that is so cool. And it says, because I can see some of these pieces in here as they're moving, it says it glows in the dark. And I can see pieces in here that would resemble like glow in the dark material. So I'll have to keep it in the light for a while and then we'll check it out. But if you know someone that has this type of phone, I think this is a beautiful presentation. They're definitely worth more than a dollar in the stores. Um, so I did grab a couple because I do know a couple people that have this size phone. And you know, if they like it, great. If not, that's okay too, because I know somebody else would more than be happy to get one of those. Alrighty, also, <clears throat> And like I said, I'm bouncing all over the place here. I was over in the fairy garden section. About a week ago, maybe not quite a week ago, I hauled for you a bunch of donuts and unicorns. And now I found some more little gnomes. But what I was very happy to see is they have a little bit of an assortment. And um, I was trying to think of the best way, the most appropriate way to show this product. Um, I'm just going to let the product speak for itself. But I thought it was really nice. Um, I thought it was super, super cute. So here we have these three little girl gnomes. Let me bring them nice and close. So we have this one here that's got the purple. This one in the green and this one in the yellow. And hopefully you're noticing that we have an African-American 
That's what I usually say. Um, African American, black. I don't want to def offend anybody. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But we have a woman of color here, and I've never seen that before on the gnome collection. So I thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully, you know, we'll have more of those types of things coming out. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So I thought that was definitely a cute find. I also found some other men of color and that was this little dude sitting down here this little dude sitting down here and then we have up here this little guy is just like sound asleep in that bucket i think he's had too many beers but anyways that was cute you get three pieces then i found one other one and these are kind of just basically gnomes and let me bring it a little bit closer here. So we have this guy here with the red jacket. We have this one here in the yellow jacket. And then we have this one here with the blue boot, excuse me, the red boots and the blue jacket. And there is our gentleman of color. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I thought that was great to see. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm guilty of this. Okay, I, it was said new. So, you know, because before it was old and crappy, now it's new. Um, It's a three-ounce package of Sweet Tart Ropes. It says soft and chewy. However, it does not tell me that it's sour. It just says Sweet Tart Soft and Chewy Twisted Rainbow Punch. So it looks like to me, like, are these straws and then they got something going on in here? So I thought this would be cool to check out. And they were so soft. I mean, it's like just absolute soft. I saw the new and I fell for it. <laughs> All right, here, brand name. Anytime you can find a brand name at Dollar Tree, hop on it. This is by Scott Bright. It's a 3M package. It is a two package of stainless steel scrubbers. Dollar Tree sells their own version. I think you get three in the package and they're okay. Uh, for me, they're like a one-time use and that could just be because I'm too rough the way I scrub or just maybe the things I'm scrubbing. Uh, that's just me. So this being a brand name, you know, having the two, I get it. And I thought, well, it's a brand name. I'll go ahead and grab it. Maybe it'll give me, you know, a couple times of use, but these are really good. Like I have stainless steel sinks in the kitchen. This is great for stainless steel. It's great for getting off stuff that just doesn't want to come off. Um, you get two really good size. Bloop, bloop. And uh, yeah, brand name. When you can get a brand name, I always hop on it. Especially if it's a brand name that you like. All right, these are some cute little pens. All right, let me get you a measurement here. These are all going to measure the same. They are, it says collect all three, and I do have three different versions, so I'm assuming, assuming that I have all three, but I don't want to say for sure because maybe there's something out there that I'm not aware of. These are all six inches. They are all in black ink, and what they are are spinner pens. So what's going to happen is, when you click the top of the pen, it's going to give you a different saying. So here's an example. We have one here that's got a, I'm going to say that's a llama. Is that a llama? Yes, it's a llama. And what's going to happen is every time you click the top of the pen, which is right back here, it's going to give you one of these sayings. And here are the different sayings that it could give to you. Now, the different sayings are gonna come that way on the pen. So when you click it, it's gonna spin onto one of these sayings. So I thought that was kind of fun. So we have a llama. Again, they all write in black ink. And then what we have here appears to me to be a sloth. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So they have a sloth and they're all the same exact size. Last but not least, and of course it's going to be my favorite when it's a unicorn -y. There it is. And the fact that it's got a purple tip with pink. You know, you got to have for one for upstairs and one for downstairs. It just makes sense, right? So there we go. Okay, another version. And 
I don't know if this is a brand name or not. So don't hold me on this one. But it was the first time I've ever seen it at Dollar Tree. I have a lot of stainless steel appliances in the kitchen. Oy, they're a pain in the butt. I'm sorry, but they're a pain in the butt. You can clean it and no second. The first person that opens the fridge, there's the marks. Whatever. Anyways. These are a two pack and what it's for, it's for all stainless steel for cleaning, delicate surfaces, makes everything nice and shiny and pretty. And look, it was purple. <laughs> Anyways, you get two in a package. It's meant for, you know, if you're wiping down stainless steel refrigerators, it's dual action, it's absorbent, it's not abrasive. So it's going to be safe for those types of things. Um, bum, bum, ba, da, does it tell me anything else I should know? Uh, nothing else really to share with you. Unless somebody's tried these, please let me know what they thought. Um, because I'm very curious to know. All right, let's dive into just a few Easter things because Easter is pretty much, you know, obviously not till April. We have, sorry, I have an itch. No, I'm not scratching my butt. I'm scratching my back. Um, we have St. Patrick's Day coming up, obviously, and then we're going to have Easter in April. So stuff is flying out of the stores so bad, so quickly, I should say. But I managed to find a couple new Easter things, so I'm going to share those with you. The first thing I got were two of these, actually, and these are the Easter Bunny Garlands. These are nice, and I'm trying to see how long they are because... The bunnies this year are really big. They're much bigger. You get eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get eight different bunnies. And here's what the bunnies look like. I love the fact they have a bent ear. I love the big fluffy old cotton tail. So the bunnies themselves, if I measure from the top of the ear all the way to the bottom, they're eight and a half inches. Each bunny is eight and a half inches. And then what you have back here is you have like, this would be the first bunny to hang up because it's got a little loop. And then you have this string that runs through the top of each of the bunnies. So you can end up hanging your bunnies. Obviously this is happy Easter, but your bunnies would hang in this manner. So like if I was to loop it back there, you know, you could pull it taut and then it would be straight or you could leave it more, look, here, YMCA. Okay, never mind. Um, so you could like stretch it out or you could bow it in and have it kind of loop more down. All right, so I, I did get two of those. Also, they had some more of these and they're made by Jot. I opened one up to show you. What they are are stationary sets. Um, these came out a while ago. This is a different version. And basically what you're going to get is this little slide piece here that you're just going to pop off. What you get inside of here is, it would help if I read the other way. You're going to get two cards. You're going to get four letters and you're going to get six envelopes, okay? First of all, you're going to get this really cute plastic snap, which is totally reusable. Perfect for, how about a um, ID for insurance or whatever, coupons, toss it in your glove box. Anyways, that, that's just a purchase in itself. So here's this particular one. You're going to get four sheets of this cutesy, cutesy paper. You're going to get four of your envelopes, which is right there. And then you're going to get, this is so cute. Here's what your cards look like. Look at all those pineapples. Now they are blank on the inside, so you can write what you would like to write. But I mean, for a dollar, and then it all fits nice and pretty. Yeah, like it all fits nice and pretty right back in the package. And then we'll switch to the other one. <laughs> this is the one that I originally took the tag off. This one's in green. And it is that kind of neon, you know, see-through kind of color. So there's the container again. This one has all flower sheets. 
and then you have flower cards. All your cards are going to be empty on the inside because they want you to be able to write what you want to write. And sometimes I like that better. And then you're getting green envelopes. And what I loved about the envelopes is just this little bit of detail. They don't have to do it. But for someone who needs those lines, I know I do sometimes. I see that the older I get, I'll start writing. And it's, and it's like you start out writing and then it's going downhill. And sometimes these lines help me out. And so I was happy to see that. Is it a big super deal? No, not really. But it was to me because it makes it easier for me. And then you just have this pouch, which is basically like a, uh, what do I want to say, vinyl, kind of. It doesn't have a smell to it, but it's like a plastic type pouch. It's got a really great snap. Love it. They also had this design here, which is in a black case. And this one here, I'm just going to show you, besides watching the TV back there and the monitor, here are the three different components that you're going to get in that package. I just wanted to open up a couple so I could show you. And last but not least, they had this design, which I think is one of my favorites. First of all, they have this neon pink envelope, which I just love. I think it's super cute. And this one has rain, you know, I just have to show you because in the package just doesn't do it justice. It's got these pretty little rainbows with all these wonderful little polka dots. And then the card here says the best color is rainbow. Isn't that true? So the actual envelope matches the paper. And then again, it's blank on the inside. And then they give you these cute little off pink envelopes that are more of like a mauve tone. And again, I don't know if you can see on camera. Yes, you can right there. They give you those lines for writing. You know, like I said, they don't have to. It's just a little bit of extra, you know, that I think is pretty cool. All right. I think just that plastic piece right there, I've been known to pay a dollar for that. I know many of you have. So just the fact that you get the stationary little set as well. What a great little piece for somebody, you know, um, at your office or someone maybe that is more of an acquaintance than someone who, you know, you really, really know. Um, just some ideas, some suggestions. All right, so let's hop back over to the Easter Bunny. This is a garland that is six feet in length. And if you ever buy those packets of carrots that they sell at Dollar Tree, well, these carrots are the exact same ones. So if you've ever purchased the packages of carrots, they come, I think, six in a package. Same thing, same everything, just so you know. Just so you know. I'm not trying to be too sarcastic anyways. All right, so you're going to get yourself this brown rope that's, you know, I wouldn't be going and tugging on it or anything and playing tug of war, but you can obviously change it out. So when I open this all the way up, it's six feet in total but something I just want you to know it may be a big deal and you may say who gives a crap but I just want to point it out so here is the beginning of the garland okay the carrots they lay in this position so like here's one here's two so it's not like they're on a string and the carrots are hanging down from the string the carrots are hanging like this so I just want you to be aware of that. Maybe it's a big deal. Maybe it's not a big deal. But everybody's got their own desire, their own taste. Again, this is just, you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six carrots in total. So you're going to get a carrot every foot, six feet long. Okay. Oh my gosh. They have these new candy bars. Um, let's see. Well, I showed you the new Snicker bars. Uh, was that yesterday or the day before? Gone. <laughs> they didn't last long. No, I did not inhale all of them. I shared them. But now I came across, just digging in my laundry bin here. Oh, Godiva chocolate is fairly expensive, a chocolate. Um, I'm not 
necessarily a big expensive chocolate eater. Being from Chicago, Fannie Mae. I mean, come on, you know, Fannie Mae. But really, I like my British sweets. Uh, when it comes to chocolate, I'm not going to apologize. You know, my heart is in England for that because the sweets there and the biscuits, uh, meaning cookies, just blow American ones away. Just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. But Godiva chocolate can be very expensive at times. This was something super fun to find. And it's got a dark purple packaging. So that was even more exciting. Okay, so what you're going to get is, it's called Godiva Belgium 1926 Chocolate Domes. It's double chocolate. It's a 1.1 ounce package. I got a couple of them. Because the girls at the checkout were saying, Beth, trust me, you're going to love these things. I said, okay. So I'm going to open a package to show you what they look like. You get three in a package. And the first thing that I think of when I open one of these is it almost looks like, oh, now I'm going to forget the name of it or pronounce it wrong. Ferrara Rocher. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what ones I'm talking. The gold little balls wrapped up at Christmas time. Okay, so here's what you're going to get. I'm actually going to open the whole entire tray. These look like little beehives. So you're going to get three chocolate domes. Here's what they look like. Okay. So there's your chocolate dome. And I just lost the wrapper. Okay, Oy, I need Velcro on my head. So it's double chocolate. Let's see, I'm just gonna kind of take a little squish. Maybe I can't. Mm. <laughs> there you go, but now I have chocolate all over my fingers. Oh my God, they're so good. Mm-mm-mm. Light, airy. Oh my gosh, they just melt in your mouth. See why? That's why I had to eat it. All right, let me grab my napkin. Mm. I promise you, you will like these. I've become so brave. All right. Normally I would use a napkin, but I don't have one in front of me. All right. Sweet tarts have been around forever. Those really are lovely. And they're so rich that like one is almost enough. For me anyways. Okay. Sweet tarts. Um, like I said, Easter is coming in. And it's going to go out quick. This is a five ounce package. And I've never had these before. But I always liked sweet tarts when I was a kid. So these are sweet tart jelly beans. I thought that was kind of cool. I asked a couple people in the store that I know that work there. And they all said to me. I wasn't doing a random going up and down the aisle. Hey, you like sweet tart jelly beans? Although that's something I would do. But that's just me. Anyways, these are good until November. 2021. So I'm guessing maybe these are stock from last year. I don't know if they are or not. Anyways, these are supposed to be rather yummy. So I'm interested in trying those out. Also, Starburst, which is a brand name, I heard from the actual store manager. He's like, you know, those Starburst jelly beans are pretty good. I said, all right, sold me. I'll try them. Here are the flavors. Cherry orange, strawberry, lemon, green apple, and grape. So if I like Starburst, I'm thinking I'm probably going to like these. Again, this is a 4.5 ounce package. So I'm very, very curious to see what these taste like. Um, um, um batteries. Dollar Tree has been carrying a lot of different types of batteries. Um, a lot of brand name batteries. And this brand name is Kodak. These are AAA. You get eight in a package for a dollar. Um, Kodak, you know, obviously a brand name. It's been around forever. When I saw this, that, you know, you get eight of them, 
and you really can't beat it. The expiration date is July of 2023. I don't know, single women, you need batteries in the house. <laughs> Anyways, when you can get that many for a dollar, you always need a battery drawer. You need a battery for this. You need a battery for that. And pretty much every single TV remote is usually AAA. So that's why I like to stock up on them. You know, you, you just never know. Okay, moving on. I needed some more Pitts stuff. Pit stuff meaning deodorant. So I grab, yes, it's purple. This one is shower fresh. I normally grab the powder fresh and I thought, okay, well, let me try something a little different. This is a 1.4 ounce. I, you know, I use this, but I've never used this scent before. It smells quite lovely, actually, like I've just gotten out of the shower. So also, you know, for traveling, if you go to any store, Target, Walmart, any store, and you want travel size stuff, you're going to pay quadruple the price for travel size than you will for anything else. Go to Dollar Tree, get your toothbrush, get your toothpaste, get your deodorant. Even if you throw it away at the end of your trip, I mean, we're just talking about saving money here. You know, this is what Dollar Tree for me about is about, is saving money because... There is money to be saved. And for those of you that don't know it, Dollar Tree does take coupons. They will not take expired coupons. And they're very, very, very specific about their coupons. Sometimes so specific, they will just refuse to take them. If the product really is listed and it falls within the categories and it's still not scanning, just ask to speak to one of the managers. You're not trying to be a pain in the ass, but... You want to speak to the manager and sometimes they will happily override it for you if they can legitimately get their money back. But we have to understand that they take a coupon, they need to be reimbursed for that coupon. That's just the way the world goes around. All right, I found some more of this gum. And for me, being a girl of the 80s, born in the 60s, the first thing I think about is chiclets. I remember chiclets. I loved chiclets gum. You know, it was that little waxy square that tastes good for about three minutes and then pff, you wanted to spit it out. Anyways, this is the Canel's gum. Listen to these flavors. First of all, you get four pieces, three, yeah. You get four pieces. I think you could probably see it maybe on the yellow one the best. Um, you get four individual pieces in each package, but each one of these little packages is wrapped up individually. But listen to these flavors. You get green apple, grape, banana, 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 okay, we won't go there, and then cherry. Cherry is not my particularly favorite flavor, but I love cherry pie. I love cherries on my cheesecake. I love maraschino cherries. I don't know, but when it comes to gum and lollipops, bleh, just me. Anyways, this is super cute. You're getting four, eight, 12, 16, 20 individual packages of four with a super long expiration date. So that is some yum to be had. I did come across a couple of these little dudes from Thai, which is another brand name. And I just thought these were so funny. So they measure... I hit the camera and getting ready to dive on the floor at the same time. Okay. Three and a half inches. They're super squishy. The first one, this is called a tie teeny tie. It's a tie teeny tie. And this dude's name happens to be Dork. <laughs> and I'm not joking. There's his name, Dork. Alrighty. And this is what he looks like. Hello. Hello, he's got his little two tooths and his glasses. So I guess that's why they're considering him a dork. I don't know, but he's nice and squishy and full of beans. So that was super fun. And then I saw this one here that kind of made me feel like, yeah, that's about what I'm feeling lately. Let me see whose name is on here. Also made by Ty. Uh, yeah, that would be a good name. His name or her name is Sad. It's just crying. That's about, you know. Yeah, that's sad. And last but not least, and let me see what this one's name is. Devil, or we'll, we can call it Diablo because that's devil anyways. 
And it's all in purple. And look at that. That's about how I'm feeling. Like, yeah, don't mess with me. I'm in a mood. I've been in a mood. Don't mess with me. So, yeah, look at that. And it's purple. I think this one will probably go in the car. So, I can look at it and, you know. All right. So, that was fun. Ooh. I must have been thinking something because I got two of them. I was super pissy at the store. Super pissy. Oh, um, 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 um. I did find a whole snoot and noodle of new blind bags. Um, I don't know. They're like uh, attached to my ding-a-ling-a-ling -a right now. All right. So what I have here are troll blind bags. This is series eight. Evidently, there's 12 different versions to collect. I do not have my scissors in front of me. But, let me see. Uh, let me try. Okay, I don't want to like... Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I didn't even think about this when I sat down to do the video. So bear with me. I don't think I'm going to be able to... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. And that means I would have to get up and walk away from all of you. Let me try. I really don't want to open it with my teeth, only for the fact that God knows how many people's, you know, hands have been on this bag. Come on, Beth. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, my God. I couldn't, I couldn't see a little one doing this. All right. So, since I always seem to have stuff spilling out the bags every time I do this, I'm just going to stick my hand in there. All right. So, the first thing we have is... A card well it's not a card it's saying all the different ones you can get on the front and back by the way this is by Hasbro which is a brand name and then you're getting a little warning probably yep warning about the size of the product so you want to watch it for your little ones and is there even something in the bag oh my gosh okay so this has to be the smallest thing um is this even a troll what in the world it looks like um i want to say like a worm um oh what are those worms called maggots it looks like i don't mean to be mean but it looks like a maggot is that what that is it's a happy magnet um, not magnet, maggot. And all right, so you know what? Let's open another one because I'm expecting like a troll down. Where's all the other ones? Wait, I have more. Here we go. Let's give this one a try. I don't know. Let's see. If it's the same thing, I'm going to get busy. Let's see if this one's a little bit easier to open. Okay. Well, at least we didn't spend a half an hour opening it. All right, so here we have that instruction booklet. Here we have that other thing. Oh, oh, it looks like it's a little, I don't know. Is it a kitty? Is it, um, I don't know, but that looks like a little unicorn -y head. Isn't that adorable? And it's all fuzzy. So there we go. So I'm not sure what the, I'm seeing trolls. But I'm not seeing trolls. All right. So we will open more of those if anybody else is interested. All right. Something else I came across that I thought was super, super cute. I'm just kind of pissy because I'm missing one to complete the set. And I hate that. But I was very fortunate to find as many as I did. These are by Disney. Disney is a brand name. We all know about Disney. Let me give you a measurement because these are all going to measure about the same. And that's about two and a quarter inches. Who remembers the Muppets being on at seven? I think it was seven o'clock. Was it Friday night or Saturday night? I remember watching it with my mom. My mom loved the two old grumpy men up in the, uh, yeah, in the theater. <laughs> up in, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, a great show when it came out. Innocent and great. So this is the Disney Muppet Babies. 
There's six pieces in the collection. There's Piggy, Kermit, Fozzie, Gonzo, Animal, and Summer. I was able to find everybody but Miss Piggy. I don't know. Maybe she's out there. Maybe she's not. I don't know. So we'll start with Fozzie. And these are like uh, hard plastic. Uh, they're not soft. They're not squishy. So they're definitely hard. They got some a little bit of weight to them. They're not like, you know, uh, paperweight hard. But they have a little bit of weight. You can feel them. The next one that we have here is Summer. And that's the birdie for those of you that may not know who Summer is. We also have our pal Gonzo. Everybody knows Gonzo by that schnoz. That is for sure. So there is Mr. Gonzo. And then, of course, we have Kermit. Our pal Kermit. And my personal favorite and my brother's up in heaven, his favorite as well, is Animal. So there is Animal all ready to drum away. So again, the only one I'm missing is Miss Piggy, and that was my mom's favorite. But here are the six, so that's how I know there's six in the set. And there is the Miss Piggy. So that was a cool, cool find. The next thing I found, where are we at time-wise? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Just what you guys want to hear, right? All right, so let me share. What else? What do I, what do I, oh, this was kind of unique. So I was like, what in the world is this? This is made by Sassy and Chic. It's a compact eyelash curler. I don't know, it looks like a pill cutter to me, but it, it's definitely different. <laughs> There's what it looks like. To me, at first, I thought it was like a little razor. I'm not quite sure. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I do not use an eyelash curler. My eyelashes, um, I was very blessed with very, very long eyelashes. So I just throw some mascara on and that's about it. I have to admit, the first time I saw this, I said to myself, it almost looks like a little Ouija thing that you scrape off, put a razor blade in. So let me just bear with me a second here. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to see how this works. I don't know if I'd want to stick my eyelashes in here, but okay, bear with me a second. There's no directions on the package, but this is about the gist I'm getting of it. Okay, so you have this one piece of plastic that pops out, all right? And then you flip it over and you have these two pieces. Now, when you push on this handle, you can see that this piece raises up and then you have this piece. Now, if you were to put your eyelash in this way, it wouldn't make any sense. You would hurt yourself. So you're gonna put your eyelash in this way because there's rubber here. So let's say you're leaning towards my face. You're putting your eyelash into here, moving this mechanism, which is going to cause your eyelash, once it pushes up, to curl. Okay, because you've got rubber here and a bit of rubber here. So you're going to insert your eyelash, put this down at the same time, hold it, then release and pop it away. So basically, whoop, whoop. Sound effects are free. All righty. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up for a while only because I still have three quarters of a basket here. In this basket, though, I have new makeup. I have new blind bags. I have um, doo -doo -doo -doo, new makeup, new blind bags, some new toys, and just a whole bunch of other fun kind of things. But this would turn this into probably like a two-hour video. So I'm going to make you, I don't want to say make y'all suffer, but I'm going to make you hold out for a little bit. Until next time, everybody, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, what's left, wherever you are in the world. Till next time, thank you so much for your current support. And to all of you that have reached out to me, um, one day at a time. That's all I can say. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.